request. I'm doing the video, not just answering the comment section. This is a very good example of a video that's very ambiguous. The individual here that we're looking at here appears to be wearing all light clothing. I'm not considering color at all because the camera and compressor and video recorder are not. The camera you're using here has to deal with the brightness of roads, the light from an angle from a light source up here, and it has to get detail that's useful for someone looking at a security camera. This implies that it may be doing HDR compression or just digital compression. As we see the person walking through, she looks like she's almost not wearing anything except for a gray, we're going to call it, pair of shorts. Now this is not accurate at all, that's why this has become a conundrum. But because she is moving in this pathway, we can back this up just a little bit, that means that the compression algorithm for the video may be taking what they see at the top and just copying it down the back, trying to compress the data. Most imagery here are people that are moving this way, up to down, but most camera compression algorithms are designed from left to right. It's just a bias that a lot of them have. But let's see what else happens. Now, after the person passes that black spot right there, let's back that up a couple of notches if I can, you're going to see a magic trick. As soon as that man's shadow crosses the top of her body, it suddenly starts writing black data over it. We even get a glitch. And then suddenly, her clothing is turned a dark color. Now, another camera that just sees her from the front is going to be seen here. And it just sees the black clothing. To me, that screams algorithm trying to compress dark and light and trying to take up less space. Also, the image is extremely noisy. But that's the most likely answer I can give you. And as you can see, she's wearing a dark piece of clothing with a light top. Because, again, if we go back another notch or two, as she's moving here, the dark top is being overwritten to here, maybe further up than it should, but the algorithm isn't having as much trouble because she's going left to right or right to left. On the other end, again, when we go back here, the only time the algorithm figures out that the brightness and contrast levels need to be fixed is when, bang, as soon as that shadow crosses the top, it starts writing dark code right over the back. It's a good example of it, and the thing is, this has been something I've seen before. Sometimes you get people saying they're seeing ghosts on the image because maybe that light dot there or a black dot here suddenly copies a bunch of data and suddenly you get an aberration or a rippling effect over a, over, over a person walking along. Again, the algorithm for compression of these, these are single frames, by the way. They're not film, as you can tell from her foot dis disconnecting, is a compression algorithm trying to compact the data in the smallest space possible. And you can get this in some cases with old VHS recordings. But again, this is a camera trying to do one lux low light level while dealing with things like bright, very, very bright street lights producing shadows and very bright lights on cars. This may be a well-lit area technically, but it looks like it's compressing the entire image dynamically to make it work. So again, the most likely cause of that versus, excuse me, of that versus that very extreme change is the compression algorithm suddenly noticing a black line on the left in its scan process and realizing it needs to re-update the information. While previously it was simply copying the data that it saw over to the left and towards the top and just made an assumption and made a mistake. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.